today's question is how do you schedule Instagram posts on your computer? For entrepreneurs that are using Instagram to grow their business, having the ability to visually plan, schedule, and analyze their Instagram posts is huge. Now, a lot of applications will allow you to plan your posts ahead of time, but not very many will auto-publish your posts for you. They will take not only your content, but your first comment with your hashtags and put it on your account on your behalf. I found an application that does that and it absolutely changed my approach to Instagram. When I was able to sit down on one day and plan my posts for the week, for the month, then I could take a step back, focus on my business, and not so much focus on marketing my business. The name of that app is Later, the number one marketing platform for Instagram. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So to find the Later app, you just need to go to later.com and you'll see this on the homepage. And the important thing for you to know is that you can create an account that is free forever. Now, before we get too attached to Later, let me show you what it looks like to actually pay for the platform. If you do the free forever, you only get one profile and 30 posts per social media platform. So that means you get to choose from Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest, and only create 30 posts. However, if you are a power user or a solopreneur, you may want to upgrade to Plus. That allows you to go up from 30 posts to 100 posts. And then, if you continue to upgrade your account, you can add multiple profiles and the number of posts that you can post will go up to the point where it's unlimited the amount of posts you can create within later. So start with that free account, give it a try. Again, you can do 30 posts per social media platform and then you can decide if you want to upgrade. Currently, I have two social profiles that are on there so that I can schedule my posts for both of them and I think the time that I'm saving being able to schedule my posts in advance is worth the money that I'm paying per month. Spend less time posting to Instagram and more time growing your business. They have a visual content calendar that's really intuitive and easy to use. You can start scheduling your Instagram posts in minutes and you can plan your feed by dragging and dropping your content on there to help you develop a beautiful Instagram aesthetic. But the number one reason I would recommend using later is you don't have to worry about being notified to open up your app and approve publishing a post. With auto publishing for Instagram business profiles, it will post for you. Now, some of you may be concerned about Instagram allowing later to post on your behalf. And I want you to know that it is 100% safe because Later is an Instagram partner. So unlike other sites that offer this service, they are third party softwares that do not have the Instagram seal of approval. Later has that. And that is how they're able to not only help you plan your posts, but actually post your posts for you. So what I'm gonna do is hop in to the Later app and I'm actually going to schedule the posts that will go up today on the I for Ebony Instagram account. When you log into the Later app, you're going to see this dashboard. On the left-hand side, you'll see calendar is pre-selected. You'll have a section that has drop your media here for you to upload your content, and then a calendar separated by day and by time of day so that you can schedule your posts. Now, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, like I said, I have a couple social media platforms that I have attached to this account. So all I need to do is click and toggle to the one that I want. So you can see the previous posts that I have scheduled within the Later app. I tried a couple different methods. I tried posting five minutes apart at 9.05, 9.10, and 9.15, and then I decided to try posting at 10, 5, and 10. And I realized that I got more leverage out of my posts by spreading them out during the day rather than posting them back to back to back 
So now that I'm ready to plan my post for Wednesday, I need to upload the media. Now I can drag and drop into this section or I can click at the top and upload the media. So I'm going to find the post on my computer, select the ones that I want and upload. And when I do that, you're going to see the previous posts that you have uploaded to later and then you'll be able to drag and drop it in. If you want to create a certain aesthetic with your posts, then you can drag your content in a certain order so that it will appear based on the pattern that you want. So in one of my social media accounts, I alternate between text and an image. With this one, I'm trying to keep the little graphic that has the name of the bundle in the middle and then samples on either side. So since I posted the four in an image graphic last, I want to go ahead and start with that graphic. So I'm going to take it over here and I'm gonna drag it to 10. And then I'm able to put in my post caption and the first comment. Now the reason why you would want to put your hashtags in the first comment and not within the body of your caption is so when you share this content to Facebook, all of those hashtags won't be visible. It also is a very nice way to have a clean look and feel to your account. So you would just type in your post caption. You can even save captions and even click on hashtag suggestions for relevant hashtags to help your post perform better. Then you can put in your first comment again with your hashtags and then you would choose the day, the time, and whether or not you want to auto post it. So once you have everything selected, all you need to do is hit save. Now, just a quick note, when it comes to the hashtags that you're using on your Instagram account, if you have previous posts that contain hashtags that you would want to repurpose, what I suggest doing is going to Instagram on the computer then click on that post and scroll down. When you do that, you are able to select all of your hashtags with ease. You can copy it and then you can place it within the first comment on the later app. And so that way you can pull in some of your past research on hashtags into later to save yourself some time. So once you've put in your caption and we see here, I've got a couple things that I need to fix grammar wise. And then what we're going to do is save it for 10 a.m. And you can see it appear on the calendar here. Once it appears on the calendar, there is nothing else left for you to do. Just sit back, wait, and engage on your posts. Now, if you want your posts to perform better on Instagram, it's important that you engage in the comments within the first 15 to 30 minutes when that post goes up. So if you want to schedule your content ahead of time and you want to make sure that the post performs well, Choose timeframes where you can be available to respond to what people are saying in the comments. If you're able to do that, you're going to see your account begin to grow. Now again, using the Later app is fantastic because it allows you to batch your content. And one of the main reasons why people don't like using social media to market their business is because they think it's too time consuming. So you can utilize the Later app to schedule and plan your own posts, or you can reach out to an intern, to a family member, to a vendor, and they can use later to schedule your posts on your behalf because you're able to save those hashtags, because you're able to plan in advance. It's so much easier for you to automate or delegate your task of posting to Instagram. Instagram is a fantastic platform for you to use, but you've got to show up in a consistent manner. So Later makes it so much easier. They also have some other features like the media library, the analytics, and I'll do another video later about their program link in bio that makes it easier to sell on Instagram. So I hope you guys like this quick walkthrough of the Later app. Remember, you can go on later.com and you can create a free forever account, one social media platform, 30 posts a month.
Thanks so much for stopping by 30 Days of Apps. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification so you know when I've uploaded the next video in this series. My name is LaShonda, and this is Bootstrap Biz Advice, where I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. If you need help with your website, click on the link in my description to check out my Squarespace Expert Designer profile. You can also gain access to my resource library for free by clicking on the link in my description. Until next time, ta-ta for now.